Belize Electricity Limited, BEL, has requested the support of NEMO in cautioning the public of the life-threatening hazards caused by illegal and improper electrical connections. In separate instances over the weekend in Belize City, lives were put at risk. Vanetta Borrell, Public Relations Manager, spoke on why BEL is seeking the support of both the authorities and the general public to assist in raising awareness of the dangers of illegal power connections. Due to the floods, we have had incidents in which lives were threatened because of illegal and improper electrical connections in communities in Belize City. These types of situations occur all over the country and we need to let people be aware that if you're not connecting your electricity supply to standard, it could mean a difference between life or death. Sean Fuller spoke on programs that BEL offers to persons who cannot meet their electricity bills. One of the basic um, items that we look at is to ensure that there's proper infrastructure in place, that is roadway infrastructure, so that we can install our lines. And then thereafter, BEL has two programs that can assist uh, the poor in getting electricity. We have the Connecting Home Improving Lives program, which provides a free service entrance to anyone that qualifies. And we also have the Golden Citizen program that provides for BL paying the light bills of the elderly for up to a year. Um, one of the things that we've been trying to uh, let the public understand though is that these illegal collections, which is basically a connection to any premise uh, of electricity supplied by BL without a meter, these things are very, very dangerous to the community. We have wires that are typically non-standard wires running down poles on the streets, through yards, on fences, that pose a serious risk to the community, to the homeowner, and also to the BL employees who must climb these poles from time to time to service the line. So it's a very, very serious situation. We want the public to be aware of the dangers of these illegal connections and, and try to come into BL and say how we can work on getting them connected legitimately to the network to avoid the hazards they pose. These uh, illegal connections were removed so that we could have restored powers to these communities. Remember, we had to disconnect power leading up to these communities because we did not want people to get electrocuted. We had to disconnect the power until we were able to go in there, I think it was 11 hours thereafter, to actually remove these hazardous lines that were on the ground, in yards, in water, um, and so we were able to restore power, uh, I believe sometime just yesterday. On Saturday, an extension wire connected directly from an electrical meter became immersed in water on the ground causing a short circuit, which led to a fire that damaged the property and threatened the lives of those in the immediate area. As well, on Sunday, lives were once again endangered when illegal electrical connections in the Antelope Street extension area caused exposed live wires to be lying in flood waters. BL was forced to disconnect power supply to the area to mitigate the hazard. The area was without electricity for up to approximately 11 hours, until the illegal connections could be safely removed. Fuller explained why. These uh, illegal connections were removed so that we could have restored powers to these communities. Remember, we had to disconnect power leading up to these communities because we did not want people to get electrocuted. We had to disconnect the power until we were able to go in there, I think it was 11 hours thereafter, to actually remove these hazardous lines that were on the ground, in yards, in water, um, and so we were able to restore power, uh, I believe, sometime just yesterday. The Belize Electricity Limited states that hundreds of households have been connected countrywide and that they have plans to connect more households as long as the necessary infrastructure is in place to do so.